Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Cammie's Corner. If you're in my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly bath and water works and fragrance content with a sprinkle of Disney or lifestyle content. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a short and sweet first impressions and review of the whipped coconut milkshake. This is a fragrance that was brought out for the Bath and Body Works summer annual sale. They have brought it before, but this is my first time trying it out and I wanted to give you guys my first impression. So here's what the packaging of this collection looks like. This is one of those scents that started out at $4.95 during the sale. It has a retail of $16.95, but it started out as $3.95, not $4.95, $3.95. I'm getting confused because they put the prices up to $4.95 and now they're back down to $3.95. But this is whipped coconut milkshake. This is vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. So I will say I was pleasantly surprised when I smelled this one. Cause this is like not my vibe. I'm not like a super gourmand girly and that's what this is. You get a lot of that like ambery vanilla kind of scent, which is like a little bit of coconut. It's not overwhelmingly coconut, but on the back it says, bring a treat and grab a seat. Let's celebrate the summer with a block party. So this is like the block party collection. How do you guys feel about this packaging? I'm like me, I'm like 50, 50 on it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Okay, so this scent, First spray, I like it. It's warm, it's amber. You get a little bit of that like toasted kind of coconut vibe, but it's not too overpowering. However, we have some bad news. This is probably the weakest mine fragrance mist I've ever had in my entire life almost. Um, I put this on at 7.30, completely gone by 8.30, completely gone. And I'm like, I mean like by 7.45, I could like barely smell it. I had to like literally smell my, like I had to stop and like smell my shirt and be like, can I still smell that? So let me show you how I spray on my body. I don't do too much. I of course did not layer these. I'm sure if you layered it with the body cream, it would last a little bit longer. But just for me just spraying it on myself and going about my day, it was not very strong. I was super disappointed in this one. It only lasted about an hour. I think we were spoiled by like this whole collection because these all lasted like three to four hours plus some of them even more than four hours. So I think I was a little spoiled by that collection because this is just not doing it. I'm fine with a fine fragrance mist not lasting very long, especially because I mean, you guys, these were $3.95. I don't expect them to last as long as a $200 perfume does, but it was just kind of disappointing because I don't know if they're making like the formulas weaker for some annual sale. I don't know. I'm just speculating because this was just not good. I love the scent on me, which I was so surprised because I am not a gourmand girl. And this is a gourmand scent to me. It is like that vanilla ice cream scent with that little bit of coconut and a heavy, heavy amber note. So if you don't like amber, you probably won't like this one. But just to me, this is a thumbs down. I will keep it in my collection. Um, but if you're looking for a scent that lasts a long time, Mm -mm. this is just not the one I don't know I don't even know um I know people have said this kind of smells like um coconut cream pie I had that in a shower gel a long time ago and I remember the shower gel like the scent lingered for a long time with the shower gel I never tried I never tried to find fragrance mist because it just wasn't my vibe for a fragrance um but like honestly I'm very disappointed <laughs> to be honest this one it smells really good i love the actual scent itself but for the longevity it's a big thumbs down it's like a two out of ten i was super disappointed because at first it's really really strong i was like okay i'm gonna have some high hopes for this one it's gonna last me a long time and then i was disappointed an hour later when i could barely smell it so yeah unfortunately this one's a big thumb is down for me the scent itself is a thumbs up but the longevity and like the scent bubble kind of vibe thumbs down so yeah unfortunately this is a no-no for me please let me know maybe i got a bad batch but let me know your experience with the whipped coconut milkshake fine fragrance mist yes this video is short and sweet um i try to make my review videos really really short so if people just want a quick first impressions review and they can be on their day in five minutes so yeah that's why i try to go through these um reviews a little bit faster but yeah that's all for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the whipped coconut milkshake 
And if you like seeing my face, Bath & Body Works, fragrance, or Disney content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you. Helps me out so very much. And you guys can wish me to mind later. Thanks again, guys, for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!